Okay, so for this tutorial, um, basically we're going to do a little bit of a quiz, all right? Um, and that's basically just to to check your your understanding of elements, compounds, mixtures. So there's there's just a bunch of pictures like this, and you just have to decide: is it an element, a compound, or a mixture? So number one, uh, you might want to pause before I give you the answer, see if you can work it out yourself for each one, um, and then I'll give you the answer. So I'll, I'll wait for a little bit so you can pause the video. Um, and then you can let it play to check your answer. So number one is a compound. We've got two or more, we've got two different types of atoms that are joined together. So that makes it a compound. Number two, a substance that contains only one type of atom. So the answer there is basically, guys, that's your definition of an element. Number three, so if we look at this picture, I'll give you a sec. If we look at this picture, guys, uh, this is an element. There's only one type of atom there. Number four. This is an element again. There's still only one type of atom. Even though they're separate, it doesn't matter if there's only one type of atom, it's an element. Number five. A substance that contains several different elements and or compounds. So that's your definition of a mixture. Number six. Okay, so this one's a bit tricky, but basically, guys, this is a compound. Okay, we've got two or more, two in this case, two different types of atoms, but they're all joined, they're uh, bonded together, so this is a compound. All right, number seven. Okay, so again, this is a compound. Um, and you can tell that we've got two different types of atoms. They're bonded together. And, and each part, each molecule here, is the same. So that's why it's still called a pure substance. It's a compound. If one of these was, was consisting of, a, a, of both two blues, or here two purples, then it would be a mixture. All right, because then we would have different particles. All right, so as long as they're all the same, all right, um, then they're still a pure substance, and in this case, they're a compound. We've just got three lots of the same compound. Number eight. Number eight is a mixture. Now, you know it's a mixture um, because we've got two or more different types of atoms, but they're not bonded together. So the parts that we've got here, this one by itself, this one over here by itself, the parts that make this up are different, so this is a mixture. Number nine, a substance that contains several different types of particles. So again, that's another way of describing a mixture. A mixture will have different molecules or particles, um, and that's basically the definition again of a mixture. Number nine. Number nine, there's only one type of uh, atom there, so it's an element. Number ten, a substance that contains only one type of particle, where each particle is made out of two or more different atoms. So that's a compound. Okay, we've got two or more different types of atoms, so it's not an element. But if all, each particle, if the particles in there are all the same, it's a pure substance, it's going to be a compound, it's not a mixture. Number 10. Number 10 is a mixture. We've actually got a compound here, these two that are joined, these two different atoms that are joined together and an element, the pink one's here. So it's a mixture of an element and a compound, so it's a mixture. Eleven. Eleven is an element. There's only one type of atom there, so it doesn't matter how they're arranged, it's an element. And that's it, guys. Hope that helped.